Well, Mimi, I spoke with Washington State Patrol just about a half an hour ago. We got some uh, disturbing, some troubling details about this accident here that has left I-5 South shut, back, shut down here. You can see behind me the accident over to the right of my shoulder here is still pretty active. Uh, lots of uh, blue and, and red flashing lights there as police down there work the scene. But listen, at this point, we do know a man was on the 54th Street crossover. Troopers aren't confirming how he ended up on I-5 South, but he did. We're told multiple vehicles hit and ran over that man before two drivers finally called 911 to report the person that was on the road. The man was pronounced dead on arrival. Now, troopers are encouraging anyone in the area around 2, 2.30 this morning. If you hit something, you may have thought it was an animal. It was dark and rainy, but you, if you were in this area near 54th Street uh, exit here in Fife to come forward. Uh, that's what police are asking at this point. They're also telling us that people won't be in trouble uh, because of this, because they didn't know what they were hitting. It was unintentional. So they're asking people to come forward again. It was dark. It was rainy uh, this morning when, when this man here fell off this bridge or how he managed. It's not clear how he managed to, uh, to come off of this bridge here this morning, the cro off of this crossover. But that is what happened. He was also carrying a pink teddy bear. That is another detail that we know that the, uh, about this man. Uh, now, traffic is backed up here for uh, as far as we can see in front of me at this point. We asked Washington State Patrol earlier, just about a half an hour ago. They told us at least another hour and a half to two hours of I-5 South being shut down here. But for now, reporting live here in 5, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News.